Starman Podcast. Hello and welcome to Starman Debates. Uh, I'm your host, Devin. With me is Cody, Billy, and David. Hey, everybody. Woo! Greetings to everyone. And guys, we're just going to do a talk to talk again. So before we do, uh, go around the room. What's everyone playing or doing these days? Stardew Valley. Still in the Stardew Valley. Oh, just, just random games on my PlayStation. Yeah, just whatever suits your fancy at that moment. Yeah. Fair enough. Show Hearts 2 and Octopath Traveler. Still into those. Yep. And I've been into Book of Demons again, just playing that on and off. So. Anyways. So, guys. Um... Those commercials for uh, video games that we're talking about on that uh, marketing. How crazy did some of those get? Mm-hmm. Pretty oh, yeah. damn crazy. <laughs> Craziest one that you can think off the top of your head. PlayStation 3. The baby. Yeah. Yeah. No, that was creepy. <laughs> and I was like, what are you trying to convey? <laughs> Babies are gonna come after us. I'm gonna be locked in this room with the PlayStation 3 and this creepy baby is my player two. <laughs> uh-huh. Billy, um, not exactly like video game commercials, but like boom, like other commercials I remember. Um, for me, a couple of wrestling ones I always remember was for one was for No Mercy one year where it was like as a Pete Rose. Is it's supposed to be Pete Rose House and all these kids are trick or treating as wrestlers and he's like making fun of them, telling them not giving them any candy. The last one knocks on the door, it's Kane. He's like, hi Pete, and grabs him. <laughs> and the one, it was like an Olympic. Oh no, it wasn't. It was like a Baywatch parody. It was supposed to be this uh, Tiger guy pretends to get a cramp. So the, I think it was supposed to be Kelly. Kelly was supposed to be like the lifeguard. She comes, runs in, saves him. They're going to do about some mouth when the guy's like all like happy. And like, so she gets pushed out of the way. It's Mae Young. Yeah. And it's like, I'll handle this. Licks her lips and just gives, starts giving him mouth to mouth. Yep. Uh, I miss Mae Young. Yes. Oh, Mae Young. <laughs> <laughs> Destroyer of a lot of fan service. Yeah. <laughs> Take it more off your top of your head. <clears throat> The Rubik's Cube commercial for PlayStation 3. That was weird, it's a baby one. But the PlayStation 3 magically makes a Rubik's Cube perfect. Explodes in color. Paints the whole wall different colors. It's like, play smoother, play better, play beyond. PS3. Okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm... I was like, why didn't they leave with that one? The baby commercial just like... <laughs> That one would have been better. <laughs> also, squirrels. Yeah. <laughs> we can't forget those squirrels. <laughs> though they... Though I will admit, the PlayStation 3 commercials did get better when they had that Kevin Butler guy. Yeah? As the head of PS3. <laughs> it wasn't really, of course, but you know what I mean. Yeah, he, that was his gimmick. Oh, yeah, that guy. I'm the head of yeah, PlayStation. I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, those were fun. He was for sure interesting. <laughs> I remember here, any of the com- Kirby commercials are candidates for the craziest. <laughs> He's one tough yeah, cream buff. buff. Okay. Oh, whoops. Uh, okay, I mixed up commercials in a previous video. The baby wo- the I guess that baby commercial I mentioned was actually an Xbox commercial. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, well. Someone will correct us in the comments of that video. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> what? Uh, the baby being uh, birthed and then oh, flies okay. into its own grave. Yeah. That's for Xbox, not PlayStation. <laughs> Life is short. Play more. more. Xbox. I can't play. I'm flying through the air. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm dead. Yeah. Oof. <laughs> but 
I love commercials because they live in their own little worlds most times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Like, I mean, like, any like commercials were, like, always the best. Yeah, like, I'm going to open this up big time. It's like any commercial, not just gaming. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, Blockbuster. What about it? The rabbit. Their commercials. The rabbit and the gerbil. Oh, yeah! Oh, my God. I don't know. I forgot about oh, those yeah, two. I, I forgot. <laughs> like, I, I always enjoyed those. They were kind of funny. <laughs> I always loved the Flintstone commercials. <laughs> like, the Barney trying to steal the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And who could forget the, the Winston cigarette commercials? Yep. <laughs> Flintstones advertise a smoking. Great! <laughs> okay, and since we're opening it up to all commercials, yeah. I'm replacing the PlayStation 1 with a creepier one. Okay. The, um... You need PlayStation 3, but go oh, on. PlayStation, yeah, 3. Wait, can I take a while guess what it is? Sure. The Darasol families... Okay, no. Go ahead. The sir. robot that can remove his arms. That oh, was... Astor the robot! Yeah. I can put my arm back on, but you can't. It's a place place a. A. Oh, I yeah. always found that so creepy. Yeah. That's more of a PSA than a yeah. commercial. Not true. Yeah. Uh, if we want to talk about PSAs, drug PSAs. Yeah, oh, I oh, think oh, we can Re- do our own thing on that. Yeah, <laughs> right. I'll just say one thing. Pee Wee Herman. Yeah. <laughs> I got something better. Mario telling you you'll go to hell if you smoke marijuana. Yep. <laughs> That was a thing? Yeah, that was uh, a thing, guys. Wow. <laughs> oh. Lou Ferrigno wearing a Mario hat. No, not Lou Ferrigno. I think it was... Was it Lou Ferrigno? No. Uh, I wouldn't know the actual actor, but I do um, know the commercial. Billy, do you know which... Not Lou Ferrigno, no, sorry. Uh, that wrestler. Lou, Lou Albina? Lou... Yeah, thank you. Oh. Oh, yeah, uh, Captain Lou. Yeah. Captain Lou, yeah. Captain Lou in a Mario hat. Telling you who, right at the end of the commercial, if you smoke pot, you'll go to hell. <gasps> Out of nowhere! Okay, I'm gonna look that up, because. I'm gonna look that up too! <laughs> Holy Cause, freaking shit! Yeah. To be fair, like, cause, ironically, because Captain Blue was Mario. Yeah. yeah. Which. I'm gonna the other thing where I never. Yeah, the uh, Super Mario Bros. Super Show. Captain yeah. Blue Albano was Mario. Oh, wow. Yeah. They don't like it. I still liked it, but. It made me have some Captain Lou because they made him shave his goatee. Yeah. And that was... Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, there's so many friggin' weird ones. Oh, yeah, no. Like, the drug PSAs were just... Um, Nuts. Crazy. I'm trying to remember which one it was, but one of them... made the drug dealer out to be some sort of snake monster. That's, I remember. They call me Steak. You can trust me. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. Use your... Oh, yeah. Does this look like a face you can trust? It's like the snake skin yeah. and snake eyed face. <laughs> and there's that crack commercial. Use your crack dealer and your crack baby. Uh-huh. And your crack fan. <laughs> and, yeah, it's just like, here's how Escalates everything. quickly. Yeah. 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 Here, here's your brain. Here's your brain on drugs. And then I love how they took that one a big bit further with that one lady. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone remembers that one. No one remembers that that was an older commercial of just yeah. a guy going, this is your brain. Yeah. This is your brain on it drugs does. and just watch the egg fry. That's yeah. the commercial. Yeah, that yeah. was... Or, um... Well, this is... Old. They parried it. Yeah. Yeah. Because, um... Now, this is an old commercial that they did for, like... Uh, clean up America, keep America clean with the crying Indian. Oh, yes. Because uh, a lot of them saw parody. Like, they parodied at the end of Rainbow War 2 when, after the brain stock, yeah. and it's the idiot. And I'm like, wait, don't wait, hey, we're gonna help you clean up. Yeah. Then, um, Simpsons, uh, Clash yeah. of the Titans, it's like, it's like, you see the tears, like, do yourself a favor, don't, don't turn, turn around. around. <laughs> I told you not to turn around. <laughs> oh, I got a nutty one for you. Uh, you've probably seen this already, Devin, but... I've seen a lot of commercials. Yeah. <laughs> the, uni- 
In 2005, UNICEF in Belgium had a Smurfs commercial. Oh, God, no, not that one. <laughs> yes! Yes, that one! <laughs> Just Holy a, crap, this, like, ruined the Smurfs for me. That was the, kind of the point, but not mm-hmm. in that way. Just Smurfs having a regular fun time, let a bunch of goddamn planes come and bomb the crap out of them. <laughs> do, 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 do. What? Like, Seriously? Yeah. Seriously. <laughs> and it's like... Then it just cuts the, the baby Smurf crying with a bunch of dead Smurfs and rubble of their town. Yeah. Do you know the, yeah, the point, you know what the point of that PSA was? Don't let war destroy the universe for, of children. Hmm. What the hell? It's it's talking about how war destroys lives. Yeah. yeah. I know, but... That was kind of the point. Yeah. So, like, I read Kyle Code because it started off like... I thought I was watching the Smurfs. Oh, and all of a sudden, <laughs> oh god, no, oh god! I hear. Oh, wasn't one bomb? It was, it was oh, oh, got carpet. They, they carpet got carpet, carpet bombed. bombed. And then well. at the end, the little Smurf crying. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Uh, that's the only thing you hear is this little Smurf crying and maybe the fires in the background. I'm yeah. like, oh no, no! <laughs> mm. You monsters! I guess since we're doing the anti-drug <gasps> PSAs as well, we might as well have to get the Pee Wee Herman one out oh, yeah. of our systems. This is crack cocaine. I have a feeling you know way more about that than you let on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, no. God, straight up commercial. Yes, I- straight up freeze. Straight up police. <laughs> Like black rappers singing with police officers, it something about that sound seems off. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, then we have the other commercials like uh, gum. Explain. Like this guy taking off in a van, tearing through streets just for gum. Okay, so you switched our topic a bit, oh, us. Yeah. <laughs> Because we're job, talking about man. the drug PSA stuff. Sorry, drugs. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's that infamous one. Yeah. Where'd you get this? <laughs> from you, Dad. I learned it from what you. you. <laughs> yeah. You want to smoke a bowl then, son? <laughs> <laughs> Dad, this is the follow some moment I've, I've always dreamed of. <laughs> yeah. And, well, like I said, if we're talking about Doug PSAs, Grand Tool All Stars, the rescue. Yeah, that was its own drug PSA, the TV show. Yeah. And so many people have already made jokes of that, and I think we'd just be quoting. Yeah, but. Didn't they also do, like, a. Spider-Man comic like, about drugs. Oh yeah, it was oh, yeah. like a three-parter or something. Yeah. Oh, but they also did that with like Superman and I think Captain America yeah. as well. And yeah. no, not exactly commercial, but those the I just remember the Tiny Toons thing about Buster being drunk. Oh yeah, yeah. the don't, the drinking. <laughs> yeah, and they died at the yeah. end. Yeah. It's like it was a little heavy-handed, but I was like, good on them for making that episode. Yeah. yeah. In addition to the like you know, drunk stuff, yeah. I remember the the commercial where be driving down the street, one glass in front. I so, love this commercial. Yes, yes I love that's like it's mothers mad. Yeah, it's a yeah. mad commercial yeah. about mothers against drunk like, driving. If anyone doesn't know, yeah, mm-hmm. and yeah, it's like you watch the one wine glass, the second one. Then the third, and you like get to the fifth one. You're like, don't take one more, man. Don't <laughs> take that last one. <laughs> you know when they replay that now, they do it in reverse for some reason. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, disappointing. It's disappointing, <laughs> and I, I think their message is um, this could be prevented. Yeah. Before the first drink. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, I'm introducing that one. Yeah. The other one that I liked was the mar- don't smoke marijuana and drive. Where the guy sitting there, he picks up his car keys and 
The cigarettes. Oh, like, a pirate on the cigarettes. Cigarette. <laughs> Don't be a fool. I beg you. <laughs> you are high. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if I was on my way out of the house and something started talking to me like that, I'd probably consider getting into the car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know what? Maybe he's right. <laughs> that or I just want to hear this guy's story. I mean, first yeah. talking animate object. <laughs> okay, fast food commercials. Oh, man, where do we start? Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, I'm well, I could tell you about the creepiest one I saw. Oh, yeah? The first Ronald McDonald commercial. Okay. Oh, when he was like the creepy clown. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but don't laugh. He, old Ronald had a market on food commercials back in the day. Oh, yeah, no, there's a ton of McDonald's commercials. But Jeez, I... he had his own little universe with friends and everything. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, and like a storyline of almost of things. Yeah. It yeah. could have been its own TV show, which yeah. is scary to think about. They did make... They sort of did that one time. Okay. The Wacky Adventures of Ronald McDonald. Yes. I do recall hearing about that. Yeah. Oh, boy. Boy, I'm glad I didn't see that. Well, that's because it was sold exclusively at McDonald's. Like, if you get a Happy Meal, they give you a tape. Yeah. And here, go watch this kid. Yeah. <laughs> no. And they even, they also did that with the uh, audio cassette of, like, songs. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that because my friend had that, and we kind of listened to that nonstop. Yeah, I, I had it too. Yeah. Songs of what? It was just random songs sung by McDonald, Ronald McDonald and Friends. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> 90s, it was the 90s. Yeah. Okay, so fast food. The dog about Chihuahua. Who can not forget that dog? <laughs> no. I remember him quite well. He was a tuckle bin. Mm -hmm. mm. Jesus, didn't... I remember when Star Wars Episode One was out and they had like a crossover commercial. Yeah. yeah. Taco Bell, KFC, and someone else. Uh, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, thank you. Because yeah. they uh, had those toys, which... Mm. I had a bun and stuff. Yep, all three of them in a spaceship just going around talking. Yep. Yeah. I can't remember. What was the pizza? Was... I don't remember. Yeah, because it was. I think it was be obviously KFC, the Colonel. Yeah. Talk about the dog. And... Shoot, who was the Pizza Hut Matt Scott at the time? I'm not even sure. Wow, look how well known he was. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what they should have just brought in Pizza the Hut. I don't think they. I'm pretty sure he's copyrighted, Billy. Yes. I know. <laughs> but, come on, that would have been hilarious. Would have been hilarious. I thought they should have done that as a kid. Yeah. But the, as, then I learned about copyright infringement. So yeah. Like, oh, yeah. that's why they didn't do yeah. it. Burger King Kids Club. I oh, remember yeah. those kids. Yeah. Those kids are probably long dead by now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow. See? Oh, my God. Can you name all the kids? No, I... Okay. I know nothing about them, so no. I'm going to try. There's Wheels, which is the kid in the wheelchair. Vig Kid. Yep. Um, IQ was the nerdy one. <laughs> I think there's a Wendy, which is the snap girl with the camera, and that's about all I remember. Yes. <laughs> Maybe a Carlos. Because they had a Hispanic kid. What's <laughs> the uh, Back when we did uh, deal with this politically correct bullshit. <laughs> well, no, because the point of this, like, every kid, yeah. regardless yeah. of race, cool. gender, yeah, good point. That's was good. allowed in this club. Yeah. yeah, it was like the multicultural pals. And here we go. And I got all of them here. Jazz, an Asian girl who loved music and a beret. Here's my favorite one. Jaws, a tall African-American boy with an insatiable appetite. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Lingo, a multilingual Caucasian Hispanic boy. Okay, so uh. not Carlos Linglo. 
<laughs> you were close. <laughs> no, I was very racist. <laughs> <laughs> I am sorry for that. Yeah, I'll be good with Richard because I said Jose. Okay, Lynch no, but I, even I wouldn't be that stupid. <laughs> okay, Lynch Mob, get away from the door. <laughs> We're here for Cody! Oh. Uh. Get rid of him, we don't want yeah. him. I don't want me Did either. I, how close was I? Did I get any of the other ones? Uh, Kid Vid, as you said. Yeah. Boomer, the sports loving Caucasian tomboy with red hair and a. Yes, I totally forgot Boomer. Yeah. IQ, as you said. Yeah. Jaws. JD the dog. Actual dog. Yeah. Lingo. Snaps. Yeah, that was the uh, girl with the camera. Wheels, of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jazz was a new added one. All right. Yeah. So, correct. Because they had to have an Asian kid in there. Yeah, no, fair enough. They like, had to include everyone. Yeah, they didn't want to be racist. Because that's what their commercial was all about. Yeah. This can be in the kids' club, and it just shows a kid. This can. It's a T-Rex. I was like, a freaking T-Rex in the club would be amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really. Here's the test footage when we tried that, and you see blood all over the walls. You just show clips of Jurassic Park, Park. at that point. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when you find the T-Rex, and it just shows the T-Rex the lawyer. Yeah. I, I do kind of like the new Burger King commercials. With the dude with it in it, just yeah. going around selling the burgers. I don't think no, we, no, that's A and W. That's A and W. Bravo! Golf clap, golf clap. I don't even deserve a clap for that. Yeah. Boo, no, Boo no, this no. man! <laughs> Boo. Boo him! Boo! Here's something for you, the Noid. Oh yes, <laughs> Domino's. <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, <laughs> Lovely mascot of. I have to be the antagonist mascot, so yeah. go me. NW Bear. A lot of people don't remember him. Yeah. Um, buy the stuffed animal of him. Do you know the name of him? Ooh. Do you? I used to know the name of him. I think it starts with an H. I want to say Hugo, but I'm probably really yeah. wrong. Yeah. Yeah, I... We're about to find it. Yeah, they at least... Does hey, please look this up for us. Give me a second. I'll try. I no promises. Yeah. Like I said, I watch a lot of current commercials, so yeah. I, this is my extensive knowledge yeah. and, of uselessness. Yeah. And those are the, the hostess devils. The hostess chips devils. Oh yeah, the munchies. Yeah, the munchies. Yeah. I had was I had the red one. Yeah, my friend had a big giant yellow one. Nice! <laughs> like the size of you. Rudy! Rudy! Rudy R O O T Y, the giant, wow. root, the great root bear. Yeah. So, yeah, you were far off. Oh, horribly no, far off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for cutting in like that, but. No, no. That's, we were waiting for that, actually. So, speaking of cartoon antagonists, I don't remember the Soggies for Captain Crunch. Oh, Those white sperm looking things. Oh, boy. <laughs> uh, no. One. No. <laughs> like, as a kid, you didn't clue into it. As an adult, you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least. I, they're supposed to be milk. I know that's yeah. what they're going for. But that looks creepy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Was there another one? I swear there was another one. I guess not. What, for like an antagonist? Yeah. Um. Probably for like a lot of them, so. Yeah. I thought there was another like I just thought there was another one for uh, Captain Crunch. I do remember. Something the foot. Like, he was yeah. like a pirate that yeah, kind of I, 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 cereal. Someone remember yeah. that? Shock the foot or something. Yeah. I can't remember. Didn't um, McDonald's have an antagonist? Burglar. Yeah. Hamburglar. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, come on, like, that's an obvious one. Yeah. I, like, I, I remember... I the rest of Burglar. What's up? I'm trying to steal all the burgers. Not on my watch. I was just about to mention that. 
Stop! Stop! He's already dead! Oh, somebody check my back on a lip bracelet! <laughs> God, I love that. Cookie Crisp had an antagonist. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, it was like, the originally, dog. yeah, it was like a cop and two criminals. Yeah. yeah a guy and his dog. Yeah. yeah. It, the Tricks Rabbit was technically an antagonist. Yeah. Because he's trying to take the cereal for the kids. kids. <laughs> Remember when Alphabets had a mascot? The Rizzles. Right. Yeah, the wizard, and then it got replaced by Alpha the computer. Yeah, Alpha the computer, yeah. yeah. And now there's nothing. Yeah. Nope. Because I, I remember the wizard, especially when they had the marshmallow off bits. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, one uh, commercial I remember seeing for like um, cereal. Yeah. The one I see some a lot of the time. Two can Sam. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah. Mm. And then d- later, didn't they add his nephews? Yep. Yeah. yeah. God, they're annoying. Yeah, but you only get like what less than a minute of that commercial with yeah. them, so well, they're and tolerated. Of course, and of yeah. course, you have the snap crack on Bob. Yeah, those have been around for a while. Yeah. yeah. What about Tony the Tiger? Oh yes. Oh god. Which? Those, that's false advertising yeah. right there, kids. Yeah. <laughs> Technically, so it's two can't Sam. No. Listen. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry, I'm gonna get on your case on this one. When you watch a Frosted Flakes commercial, what do you see? Oh yeah, half live action, half animated tiger. Yes, but what is the commercial about? Cereal genius. Yeah. It's about this kid. He's bullied because he's bad at sports. Yeah. Tony the Tiger shows up, gives you this bowl of sugar cereal, and then oh, all right. of a sudden yeah. you're the. Ace uh, yeah. at whatever sport you were yeah. sucking at. Okay, I'll, I'll call bull crap on it too. Yeah. yeah. I'm like, they're still promoting Here, that's just yeah. sugar. It'll make you better. No, yeah. it won't. Hey, no, so they're still supporting sports with Frosted Flakes. Yeah. Yeah. And, okay, fun back and throw in the actors to see the act. They're like, the live action version of the guy does his voice. Yeah. Uh, well, one of the actors was Lee Marshall. He was a wrestling announcer. Okay. Nice. Because I remember watching the little clip, I'm like, I wonder if that's a voice. What? Then, a couple days later, I see the Tony the Tiger. I'm like, oh, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like their new tagline with it is like, corn for fuel, frosting for fun, or something. Yeah. He still says they're great, though. Yeah. Don't know. No, one was like, like, you know, Gerb, you gotta go for great. Yeah. Yeah. That's like one of the new products I've seen. Who can forget that racial stereotype lucky? Yes, the Irish leprechaun. <laughs> aye. Aye. They're always after me lucky charms. <laughs> Why do I always laugh when I say that? <laughs> I swear they redesigned him lately. Like he looks like an Adventure Time character or something. But yeah. We did his animation because he was less cartoony, I want to say. Like, he was the old timey cartoony and then yeah. they updated his look. Yeah, yeah, they did the same thing with the snap, crackle, and pop. Oh yes, yeah, so like a lot of the old timey commercial yeah. Yeah. characters got a animation update. Yeah, yeah. Um, more suit the time. Yeah, well, I still laugh wow, how it was a few years ago that they they moved Fred Flintstone off the Fruity Pebbles box. Yeah, John Cena. I'm like, <laughs> and I think it was a B. The joke said that uh, John Cena bet the SmackDown ring announcer because. <laughs> he looked like Fred Flintstone. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, see, that's what happens when one guy makes one joke in a promo. Yeah, but mm, I still miss the Flintstones advertising. The oh, oh, god, yeah. Like, remember when they had marshmallows in them? I do. I also remember when they weren't flakes. Yeah, when they were after the pebbles and. Yeah. I would say this is Cocoa Pebbles. I thought it tasted kind of gross. Yeah, I didn't mind them. Huh. Well, you are weird. Yeah. Or, or back with Trix. Was the fr- oh yeah, well, Trix looks like little fruits instead yeah. of just pebbles. Yeah, which was like, when I came back, I'm like, yes, this ain't this ain't my Trix. 
Uh, yeah, I remember you with the. I can't remember what it was like. You were like, they're flakes. No. That was yeah, that, that was pebbles. pebbles. Yeah. That was the fruity pebbles. Remember Flintstones push-ups? It's oh, like, yeah, the push pops. Oh push my pops. god, yeah. Yes. They were called push-ups. All right. These were the biggest mess I've ever seen in the candy. <laughs> remember in the nice had a rap song with it? Yeah. I don't remember anything of the rap song. I remember it was. It, 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 that's all you had to know. Yeah. yeah. Why else would you want to remember it? Yeah. Some commercials I don't want to remember. <laughs> that's kind of the point. Right? Yeah. You're supposed to... Well, that's kind of not the point, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Eventually, they fade into the obscurity when you... Basically, they're here to hit you, make sure you buy the product, and then fade off. Yeah. Where's the beef? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Claire Paller. Oh, what is it? And the only reason why I'm with this is because she appeared as the guest timekeeper of WrestleMania 2. Okay. Or, or um, another 80s fast food one. I think it was... Burger King? Herb? What is Herb? Yeah. It was a weird campaign. Sugar Crisp. Oh, yeah, Sugar Bear. Yeah. yeah. Get, get it up, up by Sugar Crisp. crisp. Yep. Yeah. And there was the. Oh, what is Butterfingers. The Simpsons. The Simpsons. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Okay, what are we Those are still about? around. It's oh, just uh, hard to find. Oh, yeah. I know. I was talking about the Sugar Pack. Yeah. So what about the sugar you want to mention? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that oh, song know. you'd always hear. He'd also have like little animated things going through like. Oh yeah, it's like he's either on a venture to get the sugar crisp, someone tries to take his sugar crisp. He he <laughs> went all over the place yeah. with how to market that. Boy. All those matters like don't get between me and my sugar crisp. That's all gonna ball you. Yeah. I am a bear. <laughs> yeah. I, remember when I have no mercy, compassion, or sympathy. That's because I am a bear. Oh, that weird honeycomb. Yeah, honeycomb had a mascot at one point. Yeah, yeah. weird. It was a weird f- fuzzy thing. Fuzzy thing. Because I had that, and that was like. Remember thing. that the kid turned into that? Yeah. No, no, the. No, the mascot was like this. Indiana Jones knockoff character. Oh yes, I remember him. Oh, the man. Adventures of Honey the Kid. Yeah. Oh, okay, and then, no, no, yeah, no. First he was an adult, then they made him a kid. Yeah, but like I think that was his name though, was Honey the Kid. Yeah, yeah. Probably. Then, then like, they have the Honeycomb Hideout commercials. Yeah. Honeycomb big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's not small. Oh. No, no, no. Andre the Giant. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh no, there's an angry giant. Looks at the window like. Well, they got, at least they got the giant part right. Yeah. <laughs> Our little giant is literally the friendly giant. Yeah. Oh, Crazy Craving, that's the guy you're thinking of. Yeah. 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 Honeycomb Kid. That's that's what we, I was originally thought of. Yeah, that's the Indian Jones knockoff. Okay. I mean, that I honestly don't remember. I do remember those. It was like early, late 80s, early 90s. Yeah. That's yeah. probably why. The Honeycomb Hideout. Yeah. <laughs> In the 70s. <laughs> yeah. It was just a children's clubhouse. That's where the jingle came from. Yeah. The Honey Nut Cheerios B. Oh. Yeah. yeah. I like those commercials because they're, they're most set, like the most settling and peaceful yeah. commercials for... Cereal. Or, um, kicks. It's like, ooh, ooh. It's like, hey, let's get Johnny to try it. He'll try anything. <laughs> I gave myself the old actually remember those. I do remember those. It's just the, it was, like, I get what they're trying to yeah. market. It's like, yeah, it's a wheat cereal, kids. Yeah. It's not great. I remember, the, like, but please eat it anyway. Yeah. Because, I mean, I just remember they do that parody scene in, in the army now when they're trying to see who's going to test the. Uh, recycled water. Yeah. Like, I'm not gonna try it. Hey, let's get Freddy. He'll try anything. He's like, Freddy, no. Then who's gonna try it? And they give it to the sergeant. Yeah. The Diggum Frog. Oh. Oh, yeah. He had, like, the D 
deepest raspy voice of a mascot God ever. <laughs> yeah. Never heard of him. He was for uh, Applejacks. Uh, Honey Smacks. Oh, Honey Smacks. Uh, Honey oh, Smacks. Yeah. Yes, that's that's the other one I was from. I can remember the name of it because there was like the two flavors, right? Yeah. yeah, Honey Smacks and Sugar Smacks, I think. Yeah, it was like the two different couple boxes. Yeah. Okay. I thought he was always for Apple Jacks for the longest time, so that shows how much I knew about him. <laughs> Count Chocula. Oh, everyone has to remember Count Chocula. Yeah. Frankenberry. Yeah. Frankenberry and Booberry. Yeah. Okay, going from another set of commercials and another different kind. Bull game commercials. Oh man, yeah, wow. Don't wake oh. daddy. Don't wake daddy was a good one. So Thirteen oh, I know the one you probably like. Thirteen Down Drive? Yes, that was a good one. I actually I got the game. Nice. <laughs> and it was the thing I asked for Christmas, like the only thing I asked because of that damn commercial. Yeah, like And then you got it. And what I guess. Oh no, I played hours oh, with wow. it. Just yeah. on my own, not even playing the game itself, just no, I mean, activating uh, the traps on people. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Mouse trap had a catchy jingle. Oh yeah. Hey Devin. Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. Mr. Bucket. <laughs> <laughs> One that stands up for me for some reason is Forbidden Temple. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. Was epic. Yeah, that was like. Let's go back. No, let's get the jewels. <laughs> Yeah, like, I'll never forget Forbidden Temple is Forbidden! <laughs> Lava coming out of the mouth. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, guys, we're going to have to call that here because we're going to run out of time, but I'd like to thank everyone for listening. This has been a Starman Talk and Talks about commercials and mostly serial commercials. Yeah. 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 But we might come back to this. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. So, thank you all for listening. I've been your host, Devin. I'm Cody. Have a great night. Billy, dig it. Dig it. See you later. Have a good one, guys.